So now I'm gonna turn on the ignition. We'll get a service warning on our dashboard. I believe this bike has around a 12,000 kilometer service schedule. So that warning will appear every 12,000 kilometers. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna remove the service warning from the dashboard. Now this should apply to most Ducatis. In my case, I'm gonna be working on a Ducati 848 and let's see how we're gonna remove it. So we require this cable. This is a three pin connector, which connects to the ECU. It has two crocodile grips for power also and earth. And on the other side, it's a 16 pin also. Next thing, we need this cable. This is also known as a Fiat ECU connector. It's an OBD port, 16 pin also, which connects here. And on the other side, it's a USB cable, which will connect to our laptop. Now this three pin, or the first cable that I mentioned. This cable connects over here. So I've already dismantled the fairing on my bike. This is the left hand side fairing where the battery is located. The ECU is located down here. And there's this port over here, which is covered. So I just need to remove this cover on this port. And as we can see, it's a three pin connector. Same as the cable that I just showed you. So what we're gonna do now Let's connect this cable to this connector. Make sure that we connect the crocodile clips to the battery. Make sure that they're connected the correct way or else you may fry the ECU. Okay, so now for the next part, uh, this is the software part, we're gonna be downloading this program over here, it's called JP Diag, I will put a link in the description below, so basically all we need to do is download over here and install the software, once that is done, we'll open the program. So the software is completely free, however we need to register it to access the service warning removal feature. So we're gonna connect the blue cable to our laptop and we're gonna press connect. So let's grab the USB cable, connect it to the laptop. Now there's a button over here, it's called connect and there's a number near it. That is the number of the COM port, the serial port and to obtain that <coughs> we need to go into device manager on our windows machine. We're gonna go to the port section and there's gonna be listed our OBD port. In our case it's COM3. So we're gonna go back to our JPDX software and we're gonna type 3 over here or in your case whatever port you got in the device manager. Now before we press connect make sure the ignition on the bike is on. Just turn the key but do not start the bike and we're gonna press connect. So now we're connected as you can see. We have several bike details. Now to register the software and get a free license so we can access our service warning removal feature. We need to press the blue button copy, which will open a session on our browser. The details will already be filled in over here. So just type in your bike in the first box and your email. 
Once you press send, wait a few minutes and you will get a license key in your email. Once you leave your license key, you will need to go to your GPDAC folder. In my case, it's in the C drive, program files, and GPDAC. And just drag the license key file inside this folder. That's it. Now you can restart your software. And it should have all the features. So now, if we go to tests, which is the second button on top, we will get another window over here. And as we can see, there is a service reset button. So we're just gonna press that. There doesn't seem to be any confirmation or anything that the service reset worked. So I'm just gonna turn the ignition off on the bike and restart it and see if it's gone. So now I'm gonna turn on the ignition. And as we can see, the service warning is gone now. So there's no confirmation in the software. However, the warning is gone. So that's great. So that's all for this video. I hope this has helped you. Um, and it's also saved you a lot of money from going to the Ducati dealership and doing this yourself. So remember, I've done this process on a Ducati 848. I mean, it should be pretty similar to other Ducati bikes, but obviously your ECU may be located somewhere else. So you need to figure that out. Apart from that, it's a really simple process. And you only need two cables for this job, which are really cheap. I will post all of the links in the description below. Thanks guys for watching. And I will see you in the next one.